Hello and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today we are going to look at the Magnin locomotive and do remember as always uh, this is my own purchase and not sponsored. So uh, this particular locomotive I'm really really looking forward to. So this is a Märklin uh, 37858. Uh, uh, this is a class uh, 150 uh, from the Deutsche Bahn or the German uh, Railroad. Um, what I'm really, really looking forward to is, as you can already see here on the picture on the outside, it's actually a faded painting and it's uh, weathered. So the, the paint job is, is faded, right? Um, this is actually a trend uh, that Märklin has started uh, about a year ago in the uh, fall items uh, 2020, uh, where that was the first uh, locomotive that came out was the uh, uh, Baureihe 140 or class uh, 140, uh, which was the Märklin uh, 37408. Uh, so this is the second locomotive to come out looking like this. Uh, what's interesting about this is it's a new technique for actually uh, printing uh, uh, the uh, locomotive. So this is actually not painted, but printed on the locomotive. It's still uh, completely in metal, but uh, evidently it has been printed on there, all the paint job. And that's how they can get it, uh, this faded look as you see on here. So let's uh, try and unbox it. I should say this is a MHI item, so uh, Märklin uh, Handler, uh, Handler uh, Initiative. So this is a, a set of locomotives that, uh, or models that are at specialized dealers, Märklin dealers only. So, um, if we open it up here, uh, let me see here. Well, we have the locomotive here. Uh, one thing that uh, fell out here is there's some additional parts here we can mount on the locomotive that looks like some uh, braking hoses and so on. Let's uh, take this off. Wow, it really looks like it has received a a heavy weathering and is a locomotive that truly has been uh, driving for many years. Um, I was looking very, very much uh, forward to this because when you um, see it in photos and videos and in the catalog, I've always been in doubt. But I must admit in, in real life, it looks really, really nice. And as you can see, even the roof has also gotten a streak of uh, black up here. As I understand it, the, the sides and the weathering you can see here, you can see including uh, what is coming down here, where it kind of has uh, been flowing down with the rain uh, from the windows and so on. That's all printed. If I understand it right, the um, roof has uh, separately uh, been given a paint job here. Wow, looks really, really nice. There should also be an engineer in here. Yeah, indeed. You can see there's an engineer in here. Wow, excellent. It looks really, really nice. So I've actually been looking forward to this locomotive, uh, both because of the paint job, but also because I've been looking forward to a, a heavy um, freight locomotive so I could uh, pull uh, some longer loads. Let's see what else is in the manual or in the uh, box, I should say. So the manual is here in the side, it looks like. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, there's a little thingy here that has fallen out. Uh-oh, something uh, fell out. Oh, I guess it's advertisement. Cool. Let's see what we have in here. Not everything wants to come out. So we have the manual. Most excellent. Cool. We uh, have a small introduction uh, to the uh, how you use the MFX uh, Plus and the One World, where you actually uh, can see uh, and drive the locomotive like this from your central station tree. And uh, the final thing we have, warranty card, always good to have. Let's uh, put it on the track.
let's uh, look a little at the prototype. So uh, this particular locomotive is actually from uh, DB Cargo, so Deutsche Bahn Cargo, which is the German uh, railroad uh, cargo division. Its uh, prototype ID is 150144-4. This is actually a class uh, 150 or Baureihe 150, um, formerly known as the E50. However, the class was changed to uh, Baureihe 150 with the modernization of the class names in 1968. Um, the uh, class uh, 150 was actually uh, followed by the class 151. Um, if we look at these uh, locomotives, they were actually uh, uh, heavy uh, freight locomotives and they were built after the uh, Einheits uh, Lokomotiven principle, which basically meant that uh, as many locomotives as possible were standardized uh, and built in the same way. That's also why we see here it's a, a joint effort to build the locomotives between uh, multiple uh, companies, uh, Henschel, Kraus Maffei, Krupp, AEG, BBC and SSW. Uh, the first three uh, companies uh, built the mechanical parts and the last three uh, built the uh, electrical parts. A total of 149 uh, locomotives uh, were built uh, in the period from 1957 to uh, 73. This particular locomotive was uh, built in 1969. And if uh, we um, look at it, um, it's uh, actually modeled to be a locomotive from 1999. Um, the uh, Era 5, uh, which Macklin says this locomotive is in, is from 1990 to 2006. However, if we look at it, the uh, Class 150 locomotives were actually retired in 2003, so you cannot go all the way till the end of the Era 5. Uh, furthermore, if we look at this particular locomotive, I was looking uh, for pictures of this locomotive, I discovered that in 1992, uh, in March 1992, I found a picture of it. It's actually not red. Uh, I did find a picture of it in uh, August 1996, where it was red. If we look at the model uh, itself, uh, Macklin has put a revision date on there of uh, August 6th, 1992. So in truth, uh, this locomotive you probably will be able to drive if you're modeling 1992 to 2003, if you're into this. Otherwise, just drive it uh, wherever you like. All locomotives um, of the class uh, 150 were actually scrapped in 2004, but two remain as uh, museum locomotives. Um, it's actually a rather heavy locomotive, 128 tons and, and uh, quite long, 19.5 meters or 64 feet. Uh, it was designed to uh, run, um, well, mostly heavy cargo at 100 kilometers an hour or 62 miles per hour. Uh, I understand though that you, uh, they were also seen uh, with passenger trains. However, the challenge was that the locomotive itself had no heating system uh, for passenger cars. Um, the uh, locomotive, when it was uh, designed, actually had uh, uh, immense uh, traction effort uh, during start. So the starting traction effort is 450 kilonewton, which evidently is uh, still the highest uh, on German rails today. Um, and when it was designed, it was... Uh, close to the braking force of the buffers um, back then. So um, I guess that means you have to be careful when you accelerate with this locomotive as it in principle could tear the cou couplers uh, apart. Um, you will find this locomotive uh, really in Germany. I don't know if it's seen outside Germany. It uh, only really uh, supports uh, German uh, rail electricity, which is the 15 kilovolts. Um, I'm actually unsure whether or not this uh, also is available in other countries as well. But Germany is definitely the place you would see it.
Vorsicht am Bahnsteig. Ein Zug fährt durch. So what do I think about this uh, class uh, 150 uh, from the German Railroad uh, Cargo Division uh, in this special uh, weather uh, livery or uh, paint job? Well, first of all, if you look at it, it it's nice and detailed. There's uh, fine uh, prints uh, on the locomotive as well. I really, really enjoy that there's an engineer in the cab. It's always nice when you have that. Um, I also found it cool that there's actually, uh, well, I guess it's not a steering wheel, but rather the speed control or the control of the speed of the locomotive that's uh, in the cab. So there's nice details like that. Uh, as for the weathering itself, I really like that it, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's actually nice. It has streaks uh, down the sides and so on. So to me, it actually looks uh, very convincing. Uh, in the beginning, I was a little skeptical of the undercarriage, as if you look at the model, it's, it's really just brown. And I would have expected something more varied uh, or more varied color tones or something like that. However, when I looked at the uh, pictures of the class 150 in this paint scheme, 
uh, from the prototype, um, then I actually noticed that the undercarriage uh, truly is brown. Uh, not black as I originally have thought, because if it's black, then you would have seen something uh, turn brownish or something like that. Um, and, and to my surprise, when I looked at uh, pictures of um, the class 150 that had been in, in uh, service for years, uh, it actually looked uh, more uniform brown, um, at least on the pictures uh, I could see. So I think it is convincing. However, if you zoom in like really close, and I mean like really, really close, you can see the weathering looks less convincing. However, for standard close-up of the locomotive, which you can see in, in this video, I believe it looks very, very nice. One warning, though, that was in the manual, it basically says that you have to be careful with the weathering. Uh, they say it, it is uh, additional application of color um, and they have um, coated it uh, on top in order to protect it. However, they say please handle the model with special care and avoid scratching, rubbing or wiping the surface and the details. Please do not use liquid cleaners or cleaning solutions. So I guess uh, it can be a little sensitive the weathering. But isn't that also true if you actually did weather yourself uh, that you could uh, accidentally scratch it and so on. So I don't know if this is unusual. However, I really, li really like the weathering. Um, I also like the, the sound and light functions. I believe it has uh, all the functions uh, that you need. Uh, was it 21 different functions, uh, light and sound? I think it's, it's very well equipped and has all the features needed. If I had to nitpick, well, it would have been nice with the cap light. Um, however, it's not an absolute must. Um, the locomotive is actually um, metal, so that means both the frame and the body is metal. So it's a very, very heavy locomotive. Um, it actually runs really nice on the track. Um, you saw in the video I was going up and down my uh, bridge on my layout. It had absolutely uh, no problems going up and down. Okay, it was only a consist of uh, six freight cars, uh, but there was no strain or anything like that. Um, so the heavy locomotive combined with um, the fact that it has traction tires and actually both boogies um, are powered as well it actually gives it a really, really good uh, running characteristic. So all in all, I really like it. I like the sound, I like the weathering, and I like that it's actually a strong locomotive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the uh, like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the uh, channel so that you'll be notified of uh, upcoming uh, videos. Actually, in order to be notified, subscribe and hit the little bell. Uh, that means that you'll be uh, notified. Um, please let me know of uh, your experience uh, with this uh, model or the uh, similar class 150 models uh, from Macklin. Put it in the comments uh, below. Enjoy!